my YouTube friends! My green screen videos are very popular and there are a lot of ways to do a green screen in OBS besides actually having a traditional green screen. But after all those videos, I get a lot of questions about how to actually use a green screen or a virtual green screen. So how do you actually change the background and what sort of effects can you do with your green screen? Today I'm gonna go through a bunch of different cool effects that you can use with your live stream that you can do to entertain your live audience. So you know what? Let's get to it! Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, if you're not subscribed, please do. It really does help me continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free, so thanks. First, I'm gonna show you how to change your background and then I'll show you how to use a cool plugin to rotate through multiple backgrounds if you wanted to. And then I'm gonna show you a bunch of different effects that you can do with your green screen beyond just replacing your background. So first, let's get into how to change the background. Here we are in OBS and to do any of these green screen tricks, all you need is a traditional green screen or one of the virtual green screen plugins that I've done plenty of videos on. You can find links to those videos if you want to do a virtual green screen in the description below. For this video, I'm just going to actually show you how to use the green screen once you have it all loaded up. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the plus down here in our scene and we're going to go to video capture device and we'll just call this cam click OK and I'm using the snap camera but you can use whatever camera you want and all I need to do is go down here to use custom device go ahead and add my microphone in there click OK and as you can see I'm using a traditional green screen and in order to remove the background all I need to do is right click on that go to filters click the plus and then I'm just going to go to chroma key and if I have my background set up correctly everything should turn gray and I don't really have to change much there are some things that you can change in here if you want to. You might notice I get a little bit of green ghosting around the edges and that's just spill. If you put a decent background on there, it generally isn't very noticeable. So we click close. Now we have me on a black screen. If we wanted to add an image, all we need to do is click the plus go to media source and then click OK and just load up a media source this could be a text file or a video file or whatever you want in this case let's go ahead and load a video file in here this one right here will do and I'm gonna loop it because it's a short clip and there we go now all we need to do is move it down below the camera and we have our green screen now there is a really cool thing that we could do in order to change our background on a regular basis. And to do that, we would use a plugin. Um, first thing I wanna do is create another scene and let's just call this BG scene for background scene. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click a bunch of media sources and we're just gonna load these in our background scene. We'll, we'll load this one and we'll click another one and we'll load another media source. And I'm not gonna name, I'm not gonna spend the time to name these or anything like that. We're just gonna quickly go through and add a bunch of background sources to this scene. And media source three, we'll click here and we'll add this one here. We'll loop these because they are short clips. And then what I'm gonna do is add one more media source four and we'll go ahead and we'll use this one right here. We'll loop it. And there we go. So now we have these four scenes in the background scene. And what I'm gonna do is remove this. And I'm gonna go ahead and add our plugin. It's called Source Switcher. But first, let me show you how to install it. Here is the page we're looking for. We're just gonna wanna click Download in the top right-hand corner. The easiest installation is the Windows Installer zip file. There is also a Linux and a Mac OS install for this. So I'm going to download the install zip for Windows. Then I'm just gonna go to Windows Browser and right-click on our zip file and select extract and then click extract it'll take us right in and i can just double click on the executable here i'm going to select more info and then run anyways then i'm going to click ok and then install now it's telling me that i have obs studio already running on the machine if you are in this situation be sure to close out obs studio or select automatically close and then click next in my case i'm just going to uh select don't close them and click next and then of course i'm going to get another error message 
change because it will not install with OBS open. So I have to close it out. But all you're going to need to do, assuming that you already closed out OBS, is click finish and you will be done. So now Source Switcher is installed. Now that we have it installed, we'll go ahead and click that plus and we'll add our Source Switcher. And all we need to do is add some sources. And these have to be named exactly the same as the sources here. So we're gonna go ahead and click the plus. We're gonna add media source, and that includes capital letters. So it's gotta be exactly the same. And we're gonna click the plus, and we're gonna add all of them. And you can do this with images or with video. Although you have a lot more control with images than you do with videos. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a time switch on this. And 5,000 milliseconds is five seconds. Let's go with uh, 10,000 milliseconds and we can switch each one, switches to the next media state switch. So we can actually have a transition in here to how we want to transition from one to another. Let's do a swipe and swipe, hide transition, swipe, that works, duration, thousand milliseconds. We can turn that down or up and there we go. So now all we have to do is go into our scene here and we can see our source switcher switching our backgrounds. We just move this below our camera and now every 10 seconds or so, our background is gonna change. Obviously for a live stream, you may want a different transition. You also may want to have the length longer in between when it switches them. But this is a cool little effect that's super easy to set up and it's more than just your basic green screen background. It adds more variety into your live stream. And that's the basics. Now we get to the fun stuff, some cool effects with your green screen. To create the next string of effects, what we're gonna need to do is install a plugin called Stream FX. There are links to both the plugins I show you in this video in the description below. Let's go ahead and download the Stream FX plugin and install it first, and then I'll show you how to do some really cool tricks. Here we are on the download page, and we're just gonna click go to download in the top right, and it brings us up to this install page, and we can scroll down here. This gives you all kinds of other information on everything this plugin can do, and it's a lot. We're just gonna go down here to assets, and we're gonna download the Windows version. There is a Mac OS version, as well as a Linux version here for you to install if you like, but we're using Windows, so we're just gonna download that. Once we're done, we just need to go to the location of our downloads, and we can double click on the Stream Effects download. We're gonna click on more info here. It does this because this is an unsigned program, and we wanna just click there and then click Run Anyways. You may also need to disable your virus scan software. It may not install if you have it running, or it may give you an error. And once you get to this point, you just click Install for all users, and then you're gonna accept the agreement and click next and i'm going to install it static you may have yours set up portable if you do that's fine you can click portable and then you click next and you're just going to want to make sure that this is the location of your obs installation and as long as it is you can go ahead and click install and of course mine is going to fail because i'm running obs studio to actually record this but all you really need to do once you get to that point is click next through everything and then finish and stream fx will be on your system all right, so the next thing we're gonna do is click the plus and create a new scene. And this one is gonna be a nested scene, so we're gonna call it NS and then white, and go ahead and click OK. What we're gonna do is go ahead and click that plus, and we're going to add a source mirror, which is the feature we're looking for in the Stream Effects plugin we just installed. And we're gonna call this one white cam, and click OK. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our camera source. And there we go. We don't need to enable the audio. There is no reason to do that. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to filters and we're gonna click the plus. We're gonna go to color grading and we're gonna click okay. And we're just gonna lift all and you can see it just turns my background white. Next, we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go to render delay and we're going to add a 100 millisecond render delay to this particular screen. And we can click close, there we go. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna create another nested scene and we'll call this blue and we'll click the plus. We're gonna go to source mirror and we're gonna call this one blue cam 
and we're gonna select our camera and then we're gonna go to filters and click the plus. We're gonna go to our color grading again and we're just gonna lift this blue and lower the all lift right here. And then we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go and create a render delay. And this time we're gonna do 200 milliseconds and there we go. And we're gonna do this once again. We'll call this one NS red, click the plus. We're gonna go to our source mirror again. We'll call this red cam, click okay. Drop this down, select our cam source once again. And we're gonna right click, go to filters. We're gonna click the plus. We're gonna go to our color grade. And we're going to lift the red and we're going to lower this so our background is red. And we're gonna click the plus. We're gonna go to render delay. And this one is going to be 300 milliseconds. And we'll close that. And one more, NS green, click okay. We're gonna go ahead and add our source mirror. And okay, we're gonna add our source. Right click and go to filters. We're gonna go to color grading and we're gonna lift our green, lower this down so it's all green. Click the plus, we're gonna go to render delay and this one is going to be 400. Click okay and close. And now all we have to do, so we've got our scene and our background, which we used for the other one. So we're gonna create a new scene and this one is gonna be called delay and we'll click okay. And we wanna create one more nested scene. We'll call this NS cam. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and do a video capture device, add our camera in here with the microphone. And there we go. And that's gonna make this delay scene easy. So we just go in here and we go to our scenes and we're gonna add our camera. Boom, there we go. So now we have our camera and all we have to do is add the rest of these. So we'll go to scene and we'll add our white and we'll move it below and we can see it has a little delay and the next one is blue. So we're gonna go to scene and add our blue and we'll move that below the white and there we go. Click the plus and we'll go to scene and we'll add our red and we'll move it down below and there we go and one more our green we'll go to scene we'll add our green and we'll move that all the way to the bottom and there we go so now we have our trail and it looks like the green and the red should be swapped there we go definitely not seeing the green so where is our green let's go over to our green and see what our delay is ah that's because we didn't put it in right there we go. So now our green is proper. We'll go to delay. We'll move our green all the way to the bottom. And there we go. So now we have all of our stuff set up. And then all we have to do if we wanted to is we can go into scene and we can add our background scene and we can move it all the way to the bottom. And now we have a background scene with all of the stuff in it and this cool render delay feature. Super simple to set up. Now you don't actually have to have a green screen to do any of these effects. You can check this video out and it will show you how to do all this stuff with a virtual green screen in OBS. Big thanks to the sponsors that support this channel. You can find their links in the description below under sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.